Okay, um, first of all, we're going to use uh, Trello in addition to Slack. And some of you may be wondering why we need yet another platform. <clears throat> and the reason is this. Trello is a task-based kind of platform. Um, everything that we'll put in here is something that we uh, are going to do. And uh, Slack is more of an informal communication platform, you know, scheduling, that kind of thing. And there certainly will be some overlap. But I think um, after you've used this for a little bit, you'll see why uh, we're using both. Before you continue, make sure you go and take a look at the uh, Getting Started video um, at Trello. And that's very short, and it'll give you just a really good, clear idea of kind of the power of Trello. I'm going to show you how we're going to be using Trello, or at least to start out. Um, if all of you have logged in already, you should see a page something like this. You could click on our uh, Sprint Meeting board to see what's coming up and what's what, what we plan to do in class. Okay, um, and then there will also be a sample board, and once we create our teams, every team or every uh, group uh, responsible for a particular part of the Raptor will have their own board as well. And what we'll set up to begin with is just something that looks like this. And you'll start out with uh, your incoming list. Okay, um, so we've just added our first card, and this is something that we know we need to do. We need to model the claw. Um, who is going to do that? Well, I'm going to make um, my alter ego facilitator, JE, do that. I'm, by the way, logged in at twice here, um, so I can kind of show you what it'll look like from your end. So now, once I've added JE to that, um, he is going to get a message saying he's been added to a task. So then he can uh, jump on there and ask questions. So, for example, JE just responded, and we can click on the card, and we see that there's a, a conversation started here. We can click on the card and see that uh, JE said, wait, what? By when? So now I can reply. Great. So you can see how this uh, would be a great place to keep, uh, have a conversation only about this particular project. Um, and as you've already seen in the video uh, introduction, you can add images, uh, other URLs, and all kinds of other uh, information to this card, which is why it makes it so useful, and it's all held within that card. So let's see another example of uh, how we can use Trello. Okay, um, a big part of what uh, my challenge as the facilitator is going to be is making sure that you guys have all the stuff you need. So I've created this board, which we've uh, Karen and I have already been using. So when you uh, see this board for the first time, you're probably going to have to go over here to the menu and join the board. And so you can see, get immediate feedback. Okay, now I'm part of this board. Um, so you're working on a project and you realize that you need a particular product. And uh, you've talked to your team or your group and determine that like it's totally affordable. So you're going to add a card to incoming. And you need Sobo glue. And you can click on that on the pencil and get up at a few options and you might bring up this is a high priority. And we'll look into other ways that we can use uh, labels as the class continues. So my alter ego, JE, has uh, just received a notification that somebody has put a new card in incoming. And so he's going to go look at that and say, hmm, Sobo glue. Um, I need some more information on that. Oh, and he's already responded. So I'll click and see what he asked about there. Uh, I need some more information. Oh, right, I forgot to include the link. So you can go and um, grab a link from wherever you think you need to get it and just drop that in there. 
And then JE can review that and say, okay, got it, right. I understand. So as, as the, from your end of this, you're kind of done at this point. And now you get to watch this card uh, move across until you get the stuff you need. So what JE is going to do is once he gets that item on order, he's going to put it in the on order uh, list. And you'll probably, you, depending on how you set up your notifications, you may get a notification for that. And then when it comes in, JE will put it over in the received list. And he might make a comment. Hey, your stuff is here. It's in the automation lab on your table. So that's basically it. Um, there may be things that come up that um, I, we want to get, but they turn out to be unavailable um, or something like that. And then instead of deleting that information, we'll just put it over here on the on hold. So for example, um, one of our guest artists recommended that we get a Bosch foam knife. And when I did research on that, I determined that it was $865, which was more than we can afford. But I did, in my research, find something that was uh, a little more affordable that we may end up purchasing for this project. So that's a great place to park those things that we're not sure what to do with. And I know this is a lot of information, but I think that this is going to work out really well once everybody is kind of up and running on it. Um, because, again, our class time is so limited, we need to use all the tools we have uh, to keep the communication moving. So thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to building some crazy stuff with y'all.